What is going on guys, it is Dazza here and I welcome you to part 6 of the Builders Box Christmas Village Subscription Box Playlist. What a mouthful, gets me every time. Now, now as you can see by the title of this video I'm going to be showcasing the Craftwork Gingerbread House for Builders Box. Now, I would advise you to check out the intro that I made for the Builders Box as it gives you a ton more information about the Builders Box. Um, it's quite self-explanatory the video and if you do need any more advice on it or help with anything comment below in any of my videos and I'll be sure to get back to you. So as I said this is a gingerbread house which already sounds awesome so we're going to drag it in here and boom look at that. So we'll start at the front and work our way round. So we have the front which just look <laughs> it just looks great it's it's very fun they've obviously had fun making this because if I made something like this, I'd be more than happy. Really nice looking. Got some nice fences. Go around to the side. The side's pretty basic, as you can see. Back is also pretty basic. Other side is similar to the other side. And there's a bit of snow up here that they've added. I guess it's just a prim with snow effects. And, yeah. Now what we're going to do is we're going to look at the inside and just see what it has to offer. Now the inside, as you can see, it's quite basic, but I really like that. I think it's incredible, really. Um, we've got a fireplace here, which looks great. has a nice sound. Kind of repetitive, but uh, I hope you heard that. Now, this is not all that is included. I will show you what else is included. We've got curtains. So if you want to add curtains, you can just position them in. That's probably the wrong way, but they've obviously been made to fit for this perfectly, so you can just place them there. Really nice that they've added that. Um, there's also a doormat, which you can place. Um, obviously, you put it near the door, but you've got that. And you've got a fence, which obviously matches this fence here. So you can, you know, extend it, you know, you can extend the boundaries of the house, I guess. Now, that is not all. It comes with a HUD, and I instantly love structures with HUDs because you can customise it to your liking. It's, as you can see, we've got the HUD. Now you can change the walls. Which changes the inside. Um, I don't think it changes the outside, but it definitely changes the inside. And um, we've got black. Even the, the hard's got snow on it. Isn't that incredible? White, which I think looks pretty cool. And a grey, which isn't actually grey. It's white with snowflakes. I, I think I like that. We've got the roof, which I'm not sure. Okay. I'm guessing it changed the inside. Okay, it changed the inside. Um, made it darker. So you can have it darker or lighter. Fireplace wall. So I'm guessing this. Let's see. Exactly. Doesn't change the outside. The outside's still biscuity, which is good. <laughs> biscuity. Um, so you can change that. I love that. Really do love that. But yeah, really nice looking. And the fireplace front, so obviously the fireplace itself. Let's just flick through these for you. That's quite nice. I like that sort of concrete -y effect. Really nice. But yeah, overall, a really nice structure from Craftwork. I've heard good things about them before anyway in the past. Um, so it's glad to see them in the Builder's Box. But anyway, that's pretty much going to sum up this part of the series. I hope to see you in the next one.